Today we're going to be building a $400 gaming PC using all brand new parts. Can we even game on it? Will it be an enjoyable experience? That's what we're going to be finding out here today. Stay tuned. Over 100 FPS, really good for this graphics card. All right, guys, we are using all brand new parts. We're gonna go over them in a minute. And then after we do that, we're going to build it. It's gonna be a time-lapse style. This video will not be a full build guide, but I've done tons of full build guides on the channel. You can follow along to those. Be sure to check that out. And then third at the end, we're gonna put this build to the test. Let's see how well this performs for 400 bucks. Now, it will be able to game, but will we be pleased with its performance for 400 bucks? That's what we wanna find out. So here we go. I'm pumped, the $400 build. Really curious to see how it does. Let's do it. So first, the graphics card. It is this thing right here that we picked up on Amazon. It goes for this price. This is an RX 580. I don't know exactly what's going on with this. So we're going to test it out. Hopefully it performs good. This is what we had to do to hit the $400 budget. Let's go ahead and open this card up. And it looks pretty legit to me. I didn't even say the brand because who knows what brand that is. But look at this. What the? This is a very weird uh, plastic. It has sparkles on it. It's black matte sparkle. Six pins of power is what it needs. This is actually not a bad looking card at all. It actually looks pretty good. One HDMI, one DisplayPort, one DVI. Our RX 580 in 2024. I can't wait to see how this thing performs in games. Like, how is it going to do in Warzone 2? How is it going to do in Counter-Strike 2? How is it going to do in all the 2s? Okay, the processor. We are going with Ryzen. This is the Ryzen 5 5500 processor. Comes with a stock heatsink to cool it. We will be saving money there. It's six cores, 12 threads. It's going to game. It will support our RX 580 for sure. For the juice, we don't need a lot of juice for this build. So we went with a 500 watt power supply by Thermaltake. Very affordable power supply. Every component for this build is on the low side, obviously for the $400 budget. For the RAM, 16 gigabytes. Yes, we will be rocking 16 gigabytes for the $400 price point. This is a DDR4 kit, obviously at 3,200 megahertz by PowerX Gaming Turbine. Never used this RAM in my life. For the storage, unfortunately, only 256 gigabytes. But if you need more storage, guys, you're gonna, of course, up it. So for the motherboard, we picked an Asus board. This is rocking the B450M chipset. It does support lighting. So we are gonna be hooking up RGB LED strips to it. This is the micro ATX form factor. Let's open up this board. Ah! Okay, inside here we have the motherboard. Micro ATX form factor. Here's the ports it's rocking enough USB ports for our needs. And we have the IO shield in here. We're gonna get that out. And the two screws. And that's it, that's it. Moving along to the last part, the case. I used this case 50,000 years ago. It's Cooler Master's budget case, the Master Box Q300L. It is ugly. Seriously, it's ugly. I think it's just, it's hideous. Well, if it's hideous, why did you pick it? Because the price, we have to stay within budget, guys. This is the case. It's cheap. It will hold all the components inside of it. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh. It's not so ugly. It's just, it's it's very cheap, first though. Because it's a piece of crap. <clears throat> I, was, I was being too harsh. This case is not that bad. This case is decent. This case is decent. For the price, pretty good. Why not? So it has two dust filters up here. They're just magnetic. Let's go ahead and take out the front panel for now. And... When we go inside of this case, you will see pretty simple, you know? And that is all our essential parts, guys. Here's the price, 400 bucks, all brand new parts. We're gonna be throwing some extras in here. Our Crater Custom Sleeve Power Supply Cables for the aesthetics and a Funko Pop. These are, of course, the optionals list. That is not necessary. That's not part of the budget. We're just throwing it in there to make the build look sexy. All right, guys, so check it out. We're gonna build this thing right now, time-lapse style, and then we're gonna jump into the performance, see how it games, triple A's and eSport titles. Let's do it. So I take a shot with the lemon and ginger Look in the mirror like, yeah, I'm not Look in the mirror like, I'm fitted Looking outside like the world is our mind Look in the mirror like, go get it I gotta get to the scene, oh I gotta get to the back now I can't be chasing on these they getting they feeling and drag down That's why they just crash out Stuck in the cell and it's man down Life getting on in a flash now Fitting in, I'ma stand down I done seen these crash out They some baby boys, I'm the man now They was questioning, make them fans now I'm the best in my league and that's hands down Understand now, got plans now Got big dreams, now nah, that Got big schemes since 16s, hot 16s I started broke, then I fixed him My been king, I been him My bad, my whip clean I been hot, that's benzene You been 
not, that's cold stream, that's cold things, that's cold things, I'm motivated like Kobe, these don't know me, it's my time, check I rise Broly. and I wake I, and I gotta go get it, I'm making my bed in the straight to the digits, joke up a joke cause this, this is acidic, so I take a shot with the lemon and ginger, look in the mirror like yeah I'm not, look in the mirror like damn it I'm fitted, looking outside like the world is on mine, look in the mirror like go get it, I gotta get to the scene oh, I gotta get to the back now. All right, guys, well, we're done. That was honestly like a super speedy build. We finished that in like under an hour. Let's turn off the lights and boot it up for the first time. All right, got the juice connected. And here we go, first boot up. Power button is in the front of the case right here. All right, RGB LED strips are on. And all the fans are spinning for the CPU and the graphics card. The build came out surprisingly very good, actually. It does not look bad. Check it out. Let's get a close up. The good cable management and those custom sleeve power supply cables with the Funko and the lights goes a very long way. Looks clean. Let me show you guys how it looks with the panel on. Take this off. Looks pretty good, guys. Okay, for 400 bucks, this is a very good looking build. And there we go, guys. Go ahead and throw some b-roll up for you guys get a closer look at it came out very clean for the price every single part used for this build is linked in the video description if you're interested in building a pc on your own from start to finish and you're a beginner there are full build guides on our channel check it out at a bunch of different budgets all right guys when i was having to put this little 400 beast to the test hopefully let's see how it performs i hope it's a little beast for the price let's frag it up Settings for Call of Duty Warzone 2, 1080p resolution for the quality, AMD FSR is on. We set AMD frame generation to on, FSR is on performance. Here are the rest of the settings. And for the view, max FOV 120, this stuff is off. Let's do it. Hey. Emotional trauma with a prima donna gasping when she see the commas laughing to the I feel like Kanye when he lost his donna when my father left me you were there to heal the pain I conquered. Right, we're off to a decent start, gentlemen. 100% GPU utilization, over 100 FPS. Really good for this graphics card. How is he still alive, bro? Oh, crap. Oh my god. Bruh. Oh my no! I don't get on stuck. Oh my Emotional trauma with a prima donna. Hey. Is this gonna get me on stuff? Emotional trauma with you. I got my problem. Oh look it did, bro. Freaking dead, bro. I wish my brain had a hard drive that I could reset. Wish I made the right decision. <laughs> Next one. Settings for Rainbow Six Siege. Max LVV at 90, 1080p res. Here are the graphic settings. Let's do it. Who's the last guy? Rush him. Oh, he rushes one shot. Nice. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Let's bring it home! Oh, right there! Light ping, light ping, light ping! Get him, get him, get him! Runny, runny! Bro. Good job, dude! All right, Eagle, just rush in with me. Follow me, Eagle, hurry up. I'm ping, I'm ping, I'm ping. He's rushing, he's rushing. Woo! Striker, striker for the win. Performance was amazing, match was fun. Next one. Settings for Fortnite, 1080p, game is set to performance mode. Here are the settings, let's do it. Okay. 
We have a very good setup right now, man. No! Surprisingly, performance for Fortnite was really good. We got a lot of FPS. Man, thought we had that one. Next one. Settings for Valorant, 1080p res. Here's the graphics quality. Let's jump into it. We're getting... There we go. Let's go. Oh, it hit. Oh. Oof. Dang it, man. <laughs> the last two kills. All right, let's keep it moving. Settings for Horizon 5. 1080p res. AMD FSR is set to balance. And for the graphic settings, it's on the medium settings preset. Let's do it. All right, here we go, guys. We're at 100% GP utilization. Nice, nice. Wow, trade 100, huh? Good, that's good though. We're getting all the power out of our graphics card. Dude, get off me, bro. Here we go, time to gain the lead. Ooh, going fast. Sixth place, man, come on. Once you wipe out, you're pretty much done, man. It's hard to come back. I can't see in front. What's coming up? Oh! We gotta pull the miracle though, we gotta pull the miracle off. We're still in it. We're still in it. Oh shoot, this is it, isn't it? This is it, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got four, we passed that guy at the end. Performance was pretty good too, we're above 60. I don't know, game felt really smooth while we were playing. Oh, we got third place? Yo, that's not that bad. All right, performance is good for Forza Horizon 5. Next one. Settings for Counter-Strike 2, 1080p res. Here are the video settings. Let's do it. All right, CSGO performance looking good. We have above 144 FPS. Right now it's... Ooh, it's your maker. Oh. Uh, fudge. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Ah! Chase <laughs> my lightning! <laughs> oh! <laughs> ten years, ten years to shoot right there. Oh! Damn! CSGO performance was good. I'm satisfied. Next one. Settings for PUBG, 1080p, but we changed the render scale to 80, so it's less. And here is the rest of the settings. Let's do it. All right, I put me in a match that already started. Yeah, that's right! We can do this! Nice job, guys. I never doubted you guys for a second. Yep. Damn it. Yes. Ooh, that was a close one. And we brought home the W. Next one. Settings for Rust, 1080p res. Here are the graphic settings. Let's do it. Okay, full GPU utilization for Rust, 100%. Getting 75 FPS right now. We're just gonna run around here for a minute. Boom. Bam. Power Bop. point blank shots. Pow. Yes. Ooh, we got him right there. He got us too, dang. Yeah. Hey, how do I get out of here, man? How do I get out of here? 
Hey yo, how do I open this door, man? F*** you. We definitely play Rust on his $400 PC. Next one. Settings for Apex Legends, 1080p resolution. Here are the video settings. Let's jump into it. Later, losers. Alright, we won. Alright, guys, while well, our $400 build could definitely game, that $100 graphics card will pump out some frames. Not bad, not bad for the price. I'll catch you guys in the next build. Peace.